Consider the following situation. Shinji, while he's traveling, is staying on the sixth floor of his hotel building. While in his hotel room, he looks out the window and observes on a tall building across the street that there are window washers doing their job. And he's curious, how high are these window washers above me? Or how high are they above the ground? Given that Shinji's on the sixth floor, of course. And so he tries to estimate how high up those window washers are. All right. So what Shinji first does is he estimates that the, the distance between the two buildings is going to be 50 feet, which would be the distance between Shinji and the other building as well. Looking upwards from his window to the window washers, he estimates that the angle of elevation would be 80, de 80 degrees. And then looking down towards the street level at the base of the other building, Shinji estimates that the angle of depression would be 50 degrees. So using these measurements, how high up would the window washers be by Shinji's estimates, okay? So you can see that with our diagram, there's going to be two right triangles coming into play right here because we can assume that these buildings are perpendicular to the ground. The first right triangle is going to be based upon Shinji's uh, his angle of elevation. So he estimated the angle of elevation was 80 degrees, and as he is... 50 feet away from the other building. We get 50 down here as the adjacent side of this right triangle. We need to estimate the H2 here. This would be the height that the window washers are above Shinji. And so we could estimate this using a typical tangent ratio. Notice that tangent of 80 degrees would equal H2 over 50. Clearing the denominators, we get H2 is going to equal 50 times tangent of 80 degrees. That would be this vertical distance right here. But likewise, there's a second right triangle in play, this one that came from the angle of depression. And so if we look at that right triangle, Shinji's measurements gave the angle of depression as 50 degrees. He also has that the distance here is still 50 feet. And so then H1 here would be the opposite side associated to that. So by a similar calculation using the tangent ratio, we get that H1 is going to equal 50 times tangent of 50 degrees. And so the height above the ground of the window washers is going to be H1 plus H2, which this is going to equal 50 times tangent of 80 degrees plus 50 times tangent of 50 degrees, for which as 50 is a common factor of both, we can factor it out and get 50 times tangent of 80 degrees plus the tangent of 50 degrees. Now, it might be very tempting here to try to add together the angles, like just take the take tangent of 130 degrees, but tangent doesn't work that way. We can't add the angles together. We actually have to compute tangent of 80 plus tangent of 50. And so if we need an estimate like Sinji does here, uh, we should use a calculator. So Sinji is just going to pull out his, uh, his smartphone, which has a calculator app on it. And so making sure the calculator is in degree mode here, Shinji or ourselves would type in tangent of 80 degrees plus tangent of 50 degrees equal and then times that by 50 and then the calculator would tell us that the height of the window washers would be approximately 343.2 feet above the ground.